Hi guys, my name is Vera and I want to show you how I manage my games on Linux. I'm using three launcher. One is a right game launcher, the other one is Lutris and the third one is Steam, obviously. I'm going to show you Heroic for first. Heroic's Games Launcher is an open source launcher for Epic Games and GOG Games and Amazon Brain Games, but I use it just for Epic and GOG Games. As you can see, this is my library. I have a bunch of games installed here. You can actually buy or get game for free using the Epic Store here without doing stuff like going to Firefox, login and get the game. As you can see, I already uh, get the free games uh, this week, so I'm not going to show you how to get it, but just press this, click get. Uh, you already know how to do that, I think. And this one is for Epic Games. You can even actually buy games if you want. I'm not going to show you because I don't want to put any money on Epic Games because I don't like Epic. So I only like free stuff, whatever. This one is GOG Store. GOG Store, I love GOG because it has a lot of DRM free games, they preserve a lot of games. I bought a lot of games from GOG, almost all my library of GOG from GOG is bought. Uh, so I have like one or two or maybe, maybe 10, I think more, maybe 10 free games from GOG, but I always bought game here if I want to play old title, that's all. As you can see, everything works as intended. If I want to buy a game, I just buy it from here without using Firefox or other stuff. That's all. For brain gaming, as you can see, I'm not logged in, so I'm not, uh, I don't have any games from Amazon. If I want to actually log in, I press this button and everything works as intended. For the settings, I'm using a basic settings. Basically, my Giuseppe language, even though I'm Italian, I'm using English just because I prefer it. The team is the old school heroic. Usually the classic team is this one, but I like this one more. I don't know why. You can actually use a custom team if you want. The default installation path, I put everything on default. I didn't actually change anything. I put my default steam path because there is one uh, function that I use a lot. So basically when you install steam, it will actually automatically recognize that you have Steam installed and put everything. It's basically very automatic. The function that I use the most is add games to Steam automatically. So every time I download a game, it will actually add the entry on Steam. Why? I'm going to show you wh why later. And the other stuff that I enable is this Discord rich presence. So when I play with my friends, they actually saw what games I'm playing. That's all. I know it's a bit stupid, but I don't care. It's basically how I manage my game from Epic Games and GOG, very easily. If I want to install a game, I just select a game that I want to install, for example, something that is very easy to install without wasting a bunch of time. Uh, let's see, I think an old game like Alone in the Dark one, which should be, yeah. I just press install, I show why, I click to show one settings, I put everything on default, but I usually change the one version. For the title, uh, I usually stick with Proton Cache OS because it works as in Danda. I click to install. It's going to be downloaded. As you can see, it's, every, it's everything done. You actually add the game on Steam and we are good to go. Nothing special. For Lutris, why I'm, using, I'm still using Lutris even though it's not updated? Because Lutris is great for abandoned wharf when I seal the C. Uh, other stuff, even for Windows application. For now, I will only have Silent Hill 3, Lost Planet, Extreme Condition, Colonies, Condemned, Criminal Origins. All of these games work great as intended, and the runner I'm using is plain wine. Because for all titles, for some reason, Proton doesn't work properly. So I'm using wine time, and everything works as intended. And even with Ludris, I can add all this game on Steam. Just right click, create Steam shortcut and we are good to go. That's all. Now I want to show you Steam. Why? Because I'm using Steam in big picture mode with some uh, mods. So as you can see, I have a DualSense controller here. When I actually put the DualSense controller with the USB or with Bluetooth, I usually play with USB. I prefer it, even on my PS5, as you can see I have a PS5 here. 
every time I put the cable here, Steam will open it automatically in big picture mode. When I present there is a bit of a bug, I don't know why, but when I switch, everything works as intended. And as you can see, this is my library. It's a bit different from the normal big picture mode because I'm using the keyloader. The keyloader is for the Steam Deck, but it will work just fine on Windows and on normal Linux. Well, I'm using the keyloader for CSS loader, so I can actually put a theme here and a bunch of stuff that are basically quality of life. I'm going to put everything in the description. This is usually what I'm using here. And everything works as intended. I'm using another uh, another plugin that I use is Steam Grid Database, so I can actually download the artwork without worrying about it. Shot this so I can actually copy my screenshot over my picture folder. Play time so I can actually show which games I played this week. Obviously, only 12 minutes because uh, I only tested, but whatever. Post games so I can actually post some games that you can post, for example, the source game, uh, or maybe, I don't know, there are more games that you can post probably. But it's good, it's good, I use it already. And free loader for free games, basically. So every time there is a new free game, it will show you here. I already pick up all the free games from Epic, so whatever. And this is my library. As you can see, it's very compact, uh, with a lot of animation, and I love it so far. For now, my library has these games. And if I want to change some stuff, for example, if I want to change the artwork for, let's see, this one is a long dark one, as you can see, it it will add it on Steam without any problem. This is not the 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 true artwork because this one is a long the dark one, not a long the dark inferno, the worst game probably in the series. Whatever, I'm going to change the artwork. I'm going to put this one. That's good. For the white capsule, I'm going to put this one. Perfect. For the hero, I'm going to put this one. Even though I like this one more, so I'm going to use this one. Perfect. For the logo, I'm going to put mm, this one too. Let's see. For the icon, this one. Later, I don't care because it's just the icon. But as you can see, now everything is right. I, where the fuck I put this game? Whatever, I'm going to actually show you from here, as you can see. Now it's changed it without any problem. This one are Lutris game without any problem. I'm going to change the hero because it's stretched something like oh shit on something like this i'm going to blur that but now it works i can even put if i want the logo here if there is one that made the logo yeah perfect i'm going to put this one and this is how i manage my games on basically Steam. Every every game works as intended. I'm going to show you that I have also some PS2 games, I mean only one. Even though I have a PS2 here, because this one is a PlayStation 2, I'm going to show you. I have a PlayStation 2. Sometimes I rather play on emulation. Why? Not it's because it's better. I mean, it's better overall. But because some games are not from my region, I have a PlayStation 2 that is the first model, one of the first models, so I can't use the Megapone mod to play other region. So I can only play the European region here. So when I want to play games that are from Japan, from America, or not from America, I can't. So I stick with emulation, for example. Let's pause for more, one moment. Here, I have Persona 3 Fest 
FAS, basically with the answer in Japanese. I can't play this game with my PlayStation 2. It's original, but I can play it because I have a PS2 from uh, Europe. And unfortunately, I can't use Megaphone. So if I want to play a game like this, I need to rip this uh, disc that I already did and play through emulation without any problem. I know it's in Japanese, I don't know anything about Japanese, but if I want to play this copy, I need to do this. Also, for the ultimate box of Final Fantasy X, this is the price. I need to actually remove this. Perfect. This one is the ultimate box of Final Fantasy X. It's Japanese. So I can't actually play it on my PS2. I can rip this disc and play it on for emulation without any problem. I'm not going to do that now, but whatever. Even games like The Getaway, I can't play it. Because even though I bought this in Italy, I bought this in Italy on a, on a Comic-Con. I bought the North American version, so I can play it. And this sucks, because I wanted to play this game so much. I bought the copy, so I didn't actually download it from the internet. Now I need to actually download the copy from the internet if I want to play it on my PS2 anyway, so whatever. It was a waste of money. Yes, I don't care. But I'm going to show you Tales of Rebirth. Yes, this one I don't have the original copy, but who cares? This one is the English budget. It's a PS2 game. And Steam Grid uh, database, it, uh, work, it even works with emulation game, as you can see, without any problem. So I'm going to actually start this game. The only downside to actually play a game, an emulation game here is that I can't use the uh, PS button, because if I press this, it will actually press the button on the big picture mode, so I actually disable it without any problem. So every time I need to actually close the game, I need to press ESC. Not a big of a deal for me, but whatever. As you can see, the game works as intended. I can actually start a new game. I'm going to put the mouse in another thing. And everything, as you can see, works as intended. I'm not going to play, but I can save some screenshot and I can do other stuff. I'm going to close the game without saving. And as you can see, Everything works as intended. I don't have any type of problem with this launcher, obviously, because Steam is Steam. But I actually like to manage my game like this. Because I think it's the best way to play games on Linux. I have a free launcher, but I still use one. I only use the other two just for download game. So every time I want to play a game, I just put my controller here and play it without any problem. Also. When I'm done with this, I can actually remove the cable here. It will disable pic picture mode. It will uh, still uh, have Steam open it because I, I prefer it this way, so I can actually do whatever I want. And every time I want the big picture mode, I s still need to put my controller and it will open the big picture mode. This is fantastic. Honestly, I love it. It's probably the best way to play games on Linux right now, at least for me. I'm going to disable it again. So this is my way to actually manage games on Linux. I want to see what is yours, so leave a comment. Uh, what is your best way to actually manage games on Linux? I think a lot of you just use Steam and call it a day. I don't blame you. I'm just stupid. So if you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel and other stuff that YouTubers say, but I'm not a YouTuber, I'm just a guy that likes Linux, I like games. That's all. Bye bye from Mera or Mark or whatever you want to call me. Goodbye guys.